In this video, we'll talk about Shigella. This is a high yield video for USMLE step one. Stay tuned till the end. Shigella is the causative bacteria for shigellosis, which is a bacterial dysentery. And this affects the young children most. Shigella is the causative organism for the pandemic of Shiga dysentery. And in past, it has happened in Japan, Southeast Asia, America, and Africa. So it was pretty common in 1990s and early 90s. In this video, we'll talk about the microbiology, pathology, identification of Shigella, and ultimately the treatment of Shigellosis. So Shigella is a gram-negative rod-shaped bacteria, which is clearly visible under a microscopic uh, staining. It's non-motile, non-spore forming, and belongs to the family of Enterobacteria C. Do you remember Salmonella? They are kind of like close cousin of Shigella. And there are mainly four species of Shigella which are underlying these disease. These are Shigella dysentery, Flexneri, Boiti, and Sone. It's important to note that most strains do not produce gas in mixed acid fermentation of glucose test. Let's talk about the transmission of Shigella. Shigella is transmitted through contaminated food or water. So the fecal oral route of transmission is pretty common for Shigella. Apart from these routes of transmission, it can be, tra it can be transmitted via unpasteurized milk, raw meat, which is not properly washed, or contact with poultry animals, which are infected with this bacteria. When it comes to pathogenesis, Shigella actually affect the large intestine the most and it leads to inflammation and damage of the cells of the large intestine. It also produces an exotoxin known as Shiga toxin that can create the situation more complicated and it is, the, it is responsible for more severe infection. Initially, the Shigella gets endocytosed by the large intestine cells, the epithelial cells of the mucus, mucus layer. Then Shigella can escape from the macrophages because it grows intercellularly. And eventually, what happens is Shigella can invade the nearby cell. And in this process, Shigella can literally destroy the cells of the mucus. This leads to severe cramp and abdominal pain, as well as it leads to bloody diarrhea that means blood in the stool, which are pretty characteristic of Shigellosis. Now let's talk about the identification of Shigella. In lab, from a stool test during the acute phase of the illness, one can detect Shigella with the help of Hecton agar or with the help of Salmonella Shigella agar. Because in Salmonella Shigella agar, Salmonella, Escherichia coli and Shigella, all enteric pathogens would be isolated via different characteristics. Let's talk about the treatment. The vaccine of Shigella is in progress, but right now it's basically a bacterial disease which can be treated with antibiotics. Ciprofloxacin and azithromycin are the antibiotic of choice. Other than that, replenishing the body fluid is absolutely necessary. In case of severe uh, dehydration, hospitalization and IV fluid injection might be necessary. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can get more notes and flashcards in our Facebook page. Links are provided in the description. You can support our channel using super thanks. You can pay via Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you in next video.